Welcome in to another episode of What's on the Desk. This week, we've got a vintage car and a knockoff of the tallest modular building there is. I'm Stacy, and this is... Tallest Lego modular. Start at my side of the desk where I have the Leger version of the Lego Modular Town Hall. Look at this. It's actually much nicer than I thought it would be, for sure. I love these columns. There's so many windows. And it's very symmetrical. Look at all the windows in the back. It's just amazing. The sides are just plain. We'll take this off. And we can look at the inside. Now, the inside, this is definitely an older set. So That's pretty empty. Too, too much on the inside. There is an office. I do like the way they did the um, the walls and the sconces. That's pretty fancy. And there's an elevator back here. I'll show from the back. And this is the second floor. Again, not too much going on. Nothing, nothing. Nothing's going on. Got a couple of what looks like office areas. They did a good job with windows and doors. So definitely it's a nice on mat the on the floor side. there. Yeah, there's a little mat on the floor. Yeah, that's nice. And then the elevator, if we come back over. That's right. Jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down. That'll go up. Yeah, it's cute. Um, I've got five numbered bags with this one. And I do have one piece. You probably won't be able to, they won't be able to, they won't be able to see very well, especially since I just dropped it. And drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. That was deformed, just one of these little button pieces. And so far I am missing a one by six, but honestly, I don't know until the end what I might be missing. Um, because as I'm going through the bags, bags one to five, I kind of have to go to open bag four in order to complete everything I've done in bag three. I still have pieces left in bag three. So it's a little bit convoluted from that perspective but the build itself and the brick quality has been really good other than that one piece what's going on on your side of the desk down here on my side i have the mold king vintage car 868 pieces look at all that gold well, check out that mm -hmm. bling bling and look at that grill and see it's the brick expert logo and there's the name of the designer i can't read it actually if anybody knows who that is i'd love to know I suppose i could look that up myself just finishing up bag three there's the book there instructions are really good i've used the book the entire time look at these gold pieces so many gold pieces that's gold jerry gold just really there's something else there's the wheels and tires Here's the main event so far. Look at that thing. Can you get that a spin for me? Thank you. Yeah. That girl is something else. Yeah. I love these. Well, those are just spray painted macaroni pieces I yeah. put on. Yeah. No. <laughs> you want to open the trunk there? Sure. Lift up, right? Yeah. Look at that. And then we have the rumble seat. I really think that Turn was a missed opportunity bit. there. Those uh, rounded plates that they would have been the light tan to match yeah, the seat. Yeah, that would have made more sense. It still looks really good. It still looks really good. And does your steering work? It does. Why don't you give that wheel a crank? Ooh, look at that. Isn't that something? Pretty smooth. There's a lot going on here for 868 no pieces. No kidding, right? No, really happy with this build so far. No, Nothing's deformed, missing. I thought I had missing pieces, but it turns out I can't tell the difference between a gray one by two and a gold one by two. Are you blind? Are you blind? And I thought, well, maybe there was something in the instructions, but no, it, it's all me. It was all me. That's nice. where we're at. No, it's coming along nicely. It was a Father's Day gift, so that was awesome. Nice surprise. They know you well. They do. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, keep clicking those bricks.